being primarily a solitaire gamer, um, I've found that there are quite a few solitaire design games out there. Um, not a whole lot of them, but uh, one of them that I've found that hasn't gotten uh, attention it deserves is Mosby's Raiders by Victory Games, 1985. Uh, seems to be some interest out there in this game. I haven't seen any videos uploaded to BGG or ConSim World about it. So I thought I would do an introduction to start off, um, maybe talk about how the game works, uh, show you some components, um, uh, show you some of the things you can do in the game, what the object of the game is, and uh, hopefully it'll help you decide if you want to try to trade for a copy or maybe buy a copy on the marketplace. Mosby's Raiders. There are eight turns in a game of Mosby's Raiders. Uh, you must complete all eight turns. You cannot uh, stop after six or seven if you reach victory conditions because you can lose some points. Um, the object of the game is to get Mosby's notoriety at nine or more, nine or ten, after eight turns. It starts on the one, on the one notoriety one. Um, the way you move that notoriety marker up the space is by earning performance points. For every ten performance points, uh, the notoriety marker moves up one. Um, the more notorious Mosby becomes, the more opposition he will face from the Union forces. Um, the way you earn performance points is by doing things in the game, and it's found on this performance and awareness uh, summary here. And it gives you the performance points for different things you can do in the game such as eliminating couriers or sutler wagons. You can demolish rail lines, bridges, or depots. Um, you can also demolish the wagon train if that shows up during the game. Uh, winning battles earns points. Losing battle loses points. Um, if your raiders lose strength, you can lose some points from that. Mosby gets wounded, lose some points. If you skedaddle before combat, you lose points. Um, these are all ways you earn and lose performance points on this track, which in turn either moves uh, Mosby's notoriety up or down. And it must be on 9 or 10 after 8, a full 8 turns. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention to avoid an automatic defeat in the game. Um, your notoriety at the end of a turn must be equal to or higher than the just completed turn. So for instance, if we just completed turn three, uh, to move to turn four, your notoriety would have to be three or more. Um, in other words, if it was turn three, the game the turn game turn three was just completed, and your notoriety was only two, that's an automatic loss in the game. Real quickly, um, the rule book is 32 pages long. Um, however, only 13 pages of it uh, is rules. Um, pretty much what you'd expect. Um, there's also uh, two pages of optional rules to help uh, make the game a little tougher. Uh, there's a couple pages of commentary about John Mosby and his life and the things he did in the war. Um, some designer notes, of course, and then uh, some examples of play here. Um, and then in the back, you got uh, summaries of all the action cards and um, with some historical flavor to each and maybe clears up some of the questions you might have about a card and also for the random event car cards that drive the game. Um, decent rulebook. One more things before I run through uh, turn and sequence of play. Um, some other things in the game, we have some Union, union forces, um, the ones that start uh, in the cup and are randomly drawn is called four, and then as Mosby's notoriety goes up, um, those forces, more forces will be added to the cup, thus uh, we'll be facing more opposition as I stated as, as notoriety goes up. We've got the map here, uh, basically southeast of Washington, D.C., um, the area in which Mosby operated, um, just real quick on the map, the blue circles are the Union line 
Anything behind there is considered behind union lines. Occasionally during the game, they will extend union lines out. Um, um, and we also got these, uh, these represent large union forces um, in the game. Uh, basically, most of them are, most of the connections between spaces are roads or pikes through which uh, forces and Mosby travel point to point. Um, they, there's also rail lines, but uh, you cannot travel through the rail lines. Um, some more counters here. Uh, we got some, uh, that was some uh, railroad, demolished railroad markers as you do that. And uh, some devastation markers as, as some spaces get uh, devastated by the, by the Union forces. Uh, some strength markers. Uh, occasionally, events will call for another uh, large union forces to be placed. That's what those are. Um, uh, during the uh, sequence of play, Mosby's Raiders are, are recruited, and those are your strength points there. A um, couple of generals here, General, General Stoughton and Colonel Delaney. Uh, events call for them to be placed on the map. At which time, you know, one of the things that most we can do is uh, try to kidnap them, get 10, 10 points for that full notoriety point. Um, you know, the Union supply, supply Train, if that's placed on the map. And we have some supply depots. Um, their value, if you demolish them or destroy them, are on the back. Um, so it's variable um, as you track those down. And also on the board, we have, some, we have six bridges that are placed that can be demolished by... Mosby and gain points. Um, a couple other markers up here um, as we head into rounds. Um, as the game is, is basically kind of like ambush. If you ever played ambush, it's operations and rounds. Um, uh, when you go into rounds, you have to determine initiative, whether it's Mosby or the Union. Um, and Mosby's Raider strength goes in this box at the beginning of the sequence of play when we draw for those. Uh, if Mosby gets wounded, uh, this marker flipped over and affects how many action cards he gets during the game. Um, we'll go through more, more through the cards as we go through a sequence of play in a turn.